Kendall and I had our baby in April. He was a perfect little boy. We didn't expect any complications with him. The day after he was born, the nurse came in and she looked at him and she said, um, Erickson looks a little blue. He lost oxygen, he turned blue, he was rushed to the NICU and then life flighted to Primary Children's Hospital. One of the first things they did is they hooked him up to a ventilator machine for newborn babies. Without the technologies of ventilation and CPAP, he wouldn't have made it far at all. About 10% of all babies need help making the transition to breathing air. This is the Neolife ventilator. We've taken a generic CPAP machine and added ventilation on top of that. It helps newborns that are suffering from respiratory issues. This machine was actually developed at BYU through the engineering capstone project. And now we have working with ATL technology. Together working with a partner company, ATL, and their engineers, we've developed a market-ready medical device. Neonatal Rescue is a company that we've put together. As BYU students, some of us former students, we partnered with doctors and engineers and created a team that that will place these devices in the developing world and help to save babies who have problems breathing at birth. Last year, we won the Ballard Center Y Prize that allowed us to take this project and scale it up. We've been working with both Cambodia and Uganda. We've had members of our teams in both of those countries over the past year and a half or so. In Cambodia, the number of babies who would have access to a CPAP ventilator machine at birth is slim to none. The impact we're trying to make is to put this device right at the point of birth, where it's most crucial for the baby to have that. We got funding to go to Uganda. We spent many days in the hospitals getting to see the mothers, the fathers, and then of course the infants that were in the NICU there. The need for newborn resuscitation equipment is, is huge in Uganda. I have a feeling like this technology is going to address the problem. Yeah. So we asked them what they want to change, what they needed, and we have implemented that. This machine was specifically designed for developing nations that is low cost and is exactly what they need. Our plan is twofold. First, we have this device that can save babies, and next, we have a training program. When we put it into the hands of the doctors and midwives, they will know how to save these babies. We estimate that we could save 80,000 newborn lives every year. We talk a lot about statistics, but it's not about statistics. It's about the people, and it always will be. My hope for this project is that it will get into those clinics in Uganda and in Cambodia, that it will expand to other places of the world. I have a very soft spot in my heart for all the mothers around the world that have to go through something this tragic, but don't have the relief that we had here in the U.S. We want to make a difference. We want to change the system and give other people the chance that we had to watch our son get better. This is something that can really change lives.